welcome to Gigi Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're doing the reading for our dear Gemini. So my Gemini, I'm um, going to ask the universe, the energy of light, to tell us what's happening between you and your person, uh, the person that you have in mind. And also we're going to ask uh, if you're looking for love and you're not in, in a connection or you end in that connection, is there any new connection coming towards you? Um, we're going to look at the energy of now toward the end of October, getting into November. You know, the energy is fluid, so it might, it might move a little bit. So, like you can see, my dear Gemini, the reading was done in French, and I'm translating it to you in English. So please take into consideration that this is a general reading. So contrary to a personal one, it might not all resonate with you. Take what belongs to you and let go of the rest. If the reading doesn't resonate with you at all, you, go, you can always watch the video in link with one of your rising sign or just let it be me. Today, me as a reader, I didn't have a message for you. So, yes, you are in a connection right now. If For those who are in a connection right now, uh, the Gemini, you are invested in a connection. It's someone that you feel that you can have... Um, uh, a, a nice future with. Um, I feel that uh, if I'm talking to a Gemini that's really uh, well financially, um, that connection that you you see that you can also prosper with that person in life. So, but the thing is, my dear Gemini, you're investing a lot in that relationship, building toward the future with a lot of um, uh that it's a lot of soy, a lot of details, you know, you, you're making sure every little thing is done almost perfectly to make things grow between that person. The only thing is sometimes you're not too sure of that connection. It's like you have little red flags coming out, but you, you, you don't want to see it. You, but it makes you feel that hmm, I'm not too sure, but I'm going to push forward, you know? So that's the energy of the two emperors pentacles that is here because you want to build that future with that person you feel it's a good match so you continue in that energy of the emperor with that structure that you put into you that uh, into yourself to move forward with that connection so working toward a goal to build something maybe you're planning of um, i don't know invest with that person moving in with that person um, buying something, a house with that person. Anyways, you're going forward, but always the doubt brings you back to shouldn't, shouldn't I. So you have, there's a doubt here about, you know, building that foundation, making that uh, connection unsure. So there's nothing that's going to broke that connection from the outside. With the energy of the tower reverse here if there's something that's going to change the course of things it's a decision that you have to take personally the universe right now won't interfere if you have a lesson to learn from what you're going through right now you have to learn it by yourself if the universe feel it's going to be too late for you they're going to switch that tower and intervene themselves but for now the universe wants you to go forward with that connection and explore and take the decision if you want to move forward. This is what you're going to do with the energy here of the Knight of Winds. You're going forward with your feelings, with the passion that you're feeling toward that connection, ignoring your, the, um, ignoring your subconscious, ignoring your intuition that's telling you, hmm, maybe you should look into that. Maybe you should look into that. And when I, when I say looking to, into stuff, it's things that can have an, an impact long term on your connection. An example, you want children, that person doesn't want any. Red flag, maybe by investing later on would be too late. I don't know. She wants to, he wants to live in the country. You are a city person. Red flag. Maybe you should talk about that. You know, little things like that that are putting a string on the connection for it to be perfect in your eyes. So even though you're continuing and you're closing your eyes on those red flags, 
it's going to be uh, at the end your decision. Because right now, you, your Ten of Cup is not there. You have a Ten of Pentacles. Maybe that person is a good match for you financially. Maybe it's a person that uh, um, that you see yourself in the future. She would fit, uh, he or she would fit uh, in your family very well. So you're seeing a future with that person. But emotionally, it's not there. The general energy for the reading was the Ten of Cups. And you have to understand here, the whole reading here on your part, my dear uh, Gemini, there's no cups either. So everything is happening in the mind, is happening in the pentacles, but nothing in the feelings. So we have to reflect on that. So now, after that, we ask what was the energy of your person towards you? What are the uh, their feelings towards you? And what are um, the intention towards you? And those are the cards that came out. general energy was the magician so that person they had an interest on you since the beginning okay that person um they saw you they knew they wanted to be with you but i don't think it was the same for you that person did push forward to make that connection happen and at the end she got what she wants she got her ten, ten of pentacles so one of the thing that came as an intuition for me in that situation seeing those two cards together if you are someone that is very well off my dear gemini watch out if you're not with someone that is with you for the wrong int intention they are seeing you as a safety net financially instead of loving you for who you are this is something that you sh should look forward to so that person uh she knew she or she she knew that's going to be very hard and she, that person knows also that you're having doubts and can be on the defensive sometime and can be trying to convince you of their good intention so this is something forward but you have to look out with the energy of the queen of cups here it's either that everything that that person is expressing um feelings wise are not really um sincere or that's a person also that having a hard time controlling their emotion could be a bit choleric, uh, can, you know, uh, burst on you and for no reason. So this is another red flag that you probably don't want to look into it. Maybe it's someone very attractive. This is, this is why you're having a, red, a hard time. So that person, you know, I think it's someone that you had a karmic contract with that, yes, you were supposed to meet. But at one point, it was supposed to end and just for you guys to go your own way. But that person, she pushed through. Even though this is a relationship that wasn't supposed to go forward, that person used her, the energy of the magician to be able to, you know, get what she wants. It means having you in their lives. So that person is there, is going to try fight till the end to make things happen between you and them. And if they have to hide things from you to make it happen, they will. It's not someone that um, um, took the decision to be with you uh, with their heart and soul. It's something, it's like a, um, a plan for them. It's design. So you have to watch out, with, watch out with the energy of the Page of Sword here in reverse. Whatever they say, is it sincere? What, just underneath the the queen of cup is it sincere are they trying to manipulate me so so watch out for those red flags so that person is aware that their situation is kind of uh oh, i'm sorry my little dog probably saw another dog outside okay so yes um, so that person know that the grounds in your relationship is a bit shaky and this probably, it, it could, you know, get to an end at some point. But still that person try, is going to try and fight even though she knows that 
she won't be victorious if you see the, the if you listen to your your intuition sorry um she knows that she won't get the ten of pentacles that she wants she or he wants okay so here my dear um my dear gemini this is what's in store between you and your person that you have in your mind right now so if you want to end that relationship or if you're not in a connection that is going that way and you're looking for someone else uh, let's see what's gonna happen uh, if the you're wondering if there's a new connection that's coming towards you sorry um, this is uh, the card that came out so yes there's a new connection coming towards you but I think you're gonna either if you're totally single you have more than one connection coming towards you but one of them is very sincere and you might not see it because you're too focusing on the three of the cup that are in front of you so you know your choice is gonna be difficult here oops it was like that okay so be uh, open your eyes concerning that situation um uh, and you will you will see you will see um, after getting to know them which one is the good person in those four cups you can accept I think moving forward the right cup here but you just have to get over some uh, past emotion or um, choose what you want in those four cups so you know you won't be single anymore so let me um, uh, show you the card that came out uh, for your uh, for the oracle message sorry about that i'm losing energy it's toward the end of the day so i'm a bit tired so i'm not as fluent as i want so the energy that came out was bring love into the situation the way i read that is that first of all in that situation that you're going through right now my dear um for those who are in connection with someone bring love into the situation it means that look there's no cups the only cups that came out the two of them they were reversed so the love is not there you have to see what is the true intention of the person that's coming that is that you are in connection with and if their feelings are genuine uh genuine yeah that's the way we see it uh genuine sorry other message that uh, we can read that page 62 uh, you need to be more detached from the situation so like this you can see things clearer think outside the box will bring the solution so you know so I, I want you to take some some time to reflect on the situation you are into my dear Gemini and see if that person is the right person for you same thing with those that are expecting uh, a new connection coming toward them if you open your heart if you bring love into the situation here you're gonna make the right choice it says here with the six of of, of sword you're gonna move toward calmer water you're gonna live whatever excitement whatever um, choice that are not good for you gonna leave them behind and go toward something positive you won't be alone anymore with the five of pentacle in reverse so that being said my dear um gemini i hope that the reading did resonate with you if yes you can always uh, like the video share and subscribe to the channel if you didn't already so you guys take care and i see you guys in two weeks Bye bye